Our Seeds of Faith for today is entitled, The Teachings of Daniel About Prayer. Now, there was an image illustration about one lion among the many lions in the lion's den who was praying. He was praying, thank you, Lord, for this food that I am about to eat. That was the artist's illustration of what happened in Daniel chapter 6. Now, thank God that it was Daniel's prayer that God answered and not that of the jealous officers who made the conspiracy to kill Daniel. Now, what can we learn from Daniel about prayer? First, Daniel is teaching us to pray to the one true God. Now, we can remember the story of Daniel in the time of King Darius. He was appointed by the king as one of the satraps or one of the high officers. But there were jealous people around him. They forced the king to make a decree that anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next 30 days, except to the majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now in the midst of the pressure to pray to other gods or to the king, Daniel continued to be faithful. Now what happened to Daniel because he prayed to the one true God? Daniel was rescued by God through an angel who shut down the mouth of the lions. Yes, it was not just one lion, but many lions. But there was one angel also, and he was able to shut down the mouths of the lions. Amazing. This is how God works. Now, because of what happened, King Darius was convinced of the God of Daniel. Secondly, Daniel is teaching us to write down our prayers. Now, Daniel wrote down his prayer. Thus, we were able to read it even thousands and thousands of years later. This is a reminder for us to write down our prayers as well. Now, read Daniel chapter 9 and see for yourself the prayer of Daniel. Now, when we read the Bible, we could also see a lot of prayers that were written down. The book of Psalms is not just full of songs, but also of prayers. John also wrote down the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul wrote down his prayer as well. Now, the ending of Daniel's prayer is an example that we must follow. It says, O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and act. For your own sake, do not delay, O my God, for your people and your city. Daniel is someone with a lot of experience with prayers. This is a person who survived the lion's den because God answered these prayers. My friends, let us continue to pray to the one true God. Let us try to write down our prayers and let us continue to pray for God's mercy. May God bless us all. Amen.